This video is sponsored by Skillshare. For almost a month now, there has been a huge update in Lightroom, which I really, really love. So I'm going to go through that and show you these new features. If you're using Lightroom, you're probably using it at all, but uh, I want to show you one more thing regarding the denoise for Topaz. So here I am in Lightroom and the first thing that I'm going to do right now is to remove the noise. Before I took it into a uh, topaz denoise, I did some editing of uh, white balance and like the basic raw file stuff. But instead of that, I uh, recently learned a new thing that I'm going to do, and that is to bring the raw file into topaz denoise. And the result is much better. And this is a perfect image to show you this uh, denoising because uh, this is the uh, Gorsok that I was uh, photographing on the last video. Uh, if you didn't see that video, uh, I will leave a link in the description. You can check that out. But um, this um, image here is taken with uh, 6400 ISO and you can see in the background there is uh, quite some noise in like especially in the dark uh, areas there. So I'm going to get rid of all that and show you the process. So the first, first thing that I'm going to do is show the file in Finder like this. This is the file and then I'm going to open up the Topaz Denoise. So now the raw file is cho chosen and then wait for updating. Now it's finished and I use the auto settings here actually and uh, I think it's quite quite good and noise reduction here it's so clean and so great so i'm actually happy with this result here so i'm going to save this image here and i'm going to save it as a dng uh, that is the closest for the raw and then press save and now i just need to bring it into lightroom and to do that i will go into with the folder where it is and I will uh, right click on this uh, folder and you can see here synchronize to folder you press this you can see here it's finding a new picture so I'm synchronizing and then boom it's in the Lightroom just like that now the image is really clean and fine from noise so now i can start the process and before i go into the masking i'm going to but it takes a long time to do it really good so this is done in an instant and i'm not going to bother about the bird right now i'm going to do that afterwards just the background so i'm going to press this little button here called invert and then it's taking the background so take away the overlay here and now I can start and work with the white balance. You can see here if I just like play around with the white balance here, not only the background is affected by this and that is awesome. And of course this little area here is uh, too bright so I'm going to bring down the highlights of it all like this. and. Uh, I think this is the first mask I'm going to do and then I can create another mask and I'm going to use a brush now and what I'm going to do is to focus on that little area here so I'm going to take down the highlights a little bit and just start to brush in only that little area there this is actually burnt out so I cannot recover any details here. So what I'm going to do to deal with this hair is actually start to get a little bit of that area around there. So I'm going to use the clone brush hair over this area here. Not much, but just a little, little tad. Not the clone, but the healing brush. That is much better. And now I'm going to show you uh, how 
to deal with the birds. I'm going to create a new mask now. Um, select subject. And it's going to find the bird again. Just as perfect as the first time. And take away, show the overlay. And I will bring a little bit more whites in the bird. And also a little bit more of the clarity of the bird. So it pops even more. And easily, easily done. Just in a couple of seconds now, I have taken the background and adjust that with the white balance and the highlights and done the same thing with the bird. Normally I would go in and use the brush for doing that. And it takes a much longer time to do that. So this saves me a lot of time, especially if I have a lot of images. Uh, this is great. Just going to adjust the uh, vibrance and the saturation in the normal way that I do it. And this is actually really, really good. Let's add a little bit clarity to the whole image. Uh, but I can also go back here if I want to do more on the background. If I want to do a more clarity on the background, you can see the, the rings here or the bouquet is even more visible here. And maybe take it a little bit down on the exposure as well. But that, now we're starting to get somewhere. I did not spend too much time with this image here and already looking really, really good. And uh, I could say that I'm happy with this right now, and I am, uh, but normally I go in and maybe tweak something in Photoshop if I want to do a little bit more color correction and stuff like that. But uh, I don't need to do that. That is the great part of this new feature of Lightroom, to use mask. I can do everything in Lightroom right now and do not bother of any masking in Photoshop. And that saves me a lot of time. And everything is clean, no noise in a picture, uh, sharp and good and sharp and nice background. I'm happy with the image. This was a great trip. I recommend you once again to check out the video if you didn't do that. That was awesome. And I hope you like this little video here. I just wanted to show you this new feature and also this little tip of using the Topaz Denoise as well. And yeah, I see you in the next video. Bye. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of videos, all from photography, videography, cooking, languages, all you can think of. For the moment, I am enjoying a class from famous YouTuber Marques Brownlee. He explains how he made his videos and all his experience on crafting those YouTube videos. I have a lot to learn from this guy here and he really goes into depth of explaining how to craft a video from scripting to planning and shooting of videos so I can be a better videographer and document everything around me. And right now we are giving away free trial ship. So the first thousand people who click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.